Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to start a very interesting topic and that is adaptation in animals or how animals survive. So dear children, like plants, animals are also found all over the world. Some animals live on land, some others live in water, some animals live in hot deserts and some other lives in cold polar region. So first of all, let's see what we are going to learn today. What is adaptation? Classify animals according to their habitats. List various adaptations in animals according to their habitat and weather conditions. Least adaptation for food. So, what is habitat? The natural place where an animal lives and reproduces is called its habitat, and every organism has a unique habitat. To survive in a given habitat, animals need to be able to adjust themselves to the conditions of the habitat. Now, what is adaptation? The change a living being makes in its body features and behavior in order to survive in a habitat is called adaptation. And animals that are able to adapt themselves to their surroundings can survive and others that are not able to adapt to the changes in the environment slowly dies out and becomes extinct. Examples Dinosaur Adaptation may be different purposes like adaptation for habitat, adaptation for food and adaptation in behavior. Let us have a look on them one by one in detail. So first we will see adaptation for habitat. Dear children, as you know some animals live on land, some in water and some spend their time in air. These animals have different features which help them live comfortably in their environment. Depending on the place they live, animals can be classified into terrestrial animals, aquatic animals, amphibians, arboreal animals and aerial animals. So first we will see terrestrial animals. Terrestrial animals are those animals live on land, on the surface of the ground or in the burrows or below the surface of the ground. And these animals have features suitable for life on land. So first one is terrestrial animals like deer, tiger etc. have strong legs to walk and run on the land. Most of the terrestrial animals have lungs as their breathing organ. They have well-developed nervous system and sense organs to feel the change in the environment. Some animals like snakes do not have legs to move around. They crawl with the help of scales on their body. Dear children, climate conditions may vary from place to place. It is cold in the mountain and the polar region, whereas it is very hot in desert. Now let us see how some animals adapt themselves to survive in different climate conditions. So we will see first animals living in desert. Deserts are hot and dry places. Animals like camels are found here. And desert animals have special features to prevent water loss from their bodies. For example, camels have thick skin and very little hair so that they do not lose much water. They also have humps on their back which stores fat. They get energy from this fat when they do not eat food for a long time. They also have long eyelashes that protect their eye from sandstorm. They have broad and flat and padded soles that help them to move on land without sinking into it. And camels are also known as ship of desert. Next is animals living in mountain and polar region. Mountains and polar regions are quite cold. 
mountain goats and yaks are found on the mountain and animals like polar bear, penguins and seals live in polar region. They have thick fur on their bodies to keep them warm. Under the skin, these animals have a thick layer of fat called blubbers which keep their body warm. Thus, these animals have adapted to live in different climate conditions. Next is aquatic animals. Animals that live in water are called aquatic animals like crabs, turtles, ducks, fishes, whales and dolphin are some examples of aquatic. Fish and crabs have gills to breathe in oxygen dissolved in water. Whales and dolphins do not have gills. They have lungs to breathe. They come up to the surface of water from time to time to breathe. Fish have fins and turtles have paddles like flippers to swim in water. Duck have webbed feet which help them to swim on the surface of water. Next topic is amphibian. Animals that live both on land and water are called amphibians. Frogs, toad, newt and salamander are some example of amphibian. They have legs to move on land and webbed feet to swim in water. These animals breathe through lungs on land and with the moist skin in water. Next is arboreal animals. Animals that spend most of the time on trees are called arboreal animals. Monkey, squirrel, sloth and cola bear are some examples of arboreal animals. Monkey have strong arms and tail for climbing and swinging the branches on tree. Some of these animals have sharp claws to climb up and down the branches. Next is aerial animals. Animals such as bats, butterflies and birds fly in the air. They are known as aerial animals. Some of their adopted features are they have one set of limbs modified as wings which help them to fly. They have streamlined body or we can say boat shaped body to cut through the air easily. Dear children, we have learned about the adaptation for habitat and next is adaptation in behavior. Some animals have different types of adaptation to survive in extreme weather condition and the first one is hibernation. Some animals go into deep sleep to save themselves from severe winter and survive without eating much. This state of animal is known as hibernation. Some animals like bear and snake eat more food than usual during autumn season and store it as a fat to use during winters when they go into hibernation. Next is migration. Some animals and birds move to far off places to stay away from harsh weather condition or look for food and a safe place for their breeding. This movement of birds and animal is known as migration. Birds like Siberian crane and mallet ducks visit India every winter and when winter ends they go back to their native places. Our next topic is adaptation for food. We already know that there is variety in feeding habits of animals. They have adopted themselves according to the food they eat. And so on the basis of feeding habits and food, animals are divided into four groups and they are herbivores, carnivores, omnivores and parasites. So first is herbivores. The animals that feed on plants and plants part are called herbivores such as elephant, giraffe, horse, zebra and deer are some examples of herbivores. Herbivores animal have strong front teeth to bite the grass and leaves. They also have 
strong and flat grinding teeth at the back to chew the food. Herbivore animals like elephants have long trunk to pull out grass and leaves. Giraffe have long neck to reach to the leaves from tall trees. Butterflies have tube-like mouth to suck the nectar from flower. Next is carnivores. Animals that feed on the flesh of other animals are called carnivores such as lion, tiger, cat, wolf and jackal are some examples of carnivores. Carnivores animals have sharp, long and pointed front teeth to tear the flesh. They also have strong and flat grinding teeth at the back to chew the bones and flesh. Birds such as eagles, kites and vultures also eat flesh. They use their sharp claws to catch and hold their prey. They have strong, sharp and hooked beaks to tear the flesh. Frogs and lizards have long tongues to catch worms and insects. Next is omnivores. Animals that eat both plants and other animals are called omnivores, such as dog, crow, bear and human being. They have both sharp front teeth for tearing and strong flat molars for grinding their food. Next is parasites, the animal that live on or inside the bodies of other animals called host and derive their food from them are called parasites. Mosquitoes, tick, leech and lease are some parasites. Their adaptations are as follow. They have sucking tubes to suck their host. They survive on this blood only. So our next topic is animals in danger. Despite a lot of adaptations, Lives of several animals are in danger because of the destructive activities of humans such as mining, destruction of forests, hunting and killing of animals. And by doing so, we are taking away the home and food of many animals. Thus, many animals are in danger of dying out. Some animals such as dodo have already disappeared from the earth and such animals are known as extinct animals. Animals such as giant panda, tiger, snow leopard and Asian elephants are on the verge of extinction. They are known as endangered animals. So we should be careful that our activities do not harm animals or their habitat. We must show kindness to them and start conservation programs to protect endangered animal species. So dear children, here we complete our topic and if you like this video, please like it, share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting videos.